What is going on, YouTube Nation? This is Dark David, and if you guys are new to my YouTube channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. So I have five dividend stocks to buy in March, and these are stocks I own. I'm gonna actually going to buy a new one, which I'll reveal to you at the end. So these stocks have dividend hikes. They're high-yield dividend stocks, and I'm buying more. And I'm going to explain to you why I'm buying more. I'm going to show you the dividend trends. I'm going to show you why they're in demand and dividend investors love them. And I'm going to show you if they're traditional or Roth IRA material. So some of these I have been a little repetitive with, but hey, the market's taking a huge hit. So why not buy the dip? And again, I always dollar cost average, but you know, when there's a dip, these are ones that I'm buying and I'm being very transparent, just like I show you with my dividends and my dividend investing strategy. Make sure you smash that like button. Let's check these stocks out right now. So here's a dividend stock. This is a, a bank stock in the financial sector. I'm sure you guys have heard of them. Huntington Bank Shares Incorporated, HBAN is a symbol. They have a dividend yield of 4.11%, a PE ratio of 16.82, a volume of 14.45 million, market cap 21.66 billion, year range is 1301. To 1779. Its day range is 1455 to 1509. And its previous close is 1439. So, already what's attractive is these guys took a huge dip. They're not doing too well against the SP. So, if I'm looking at this stock, again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description. But this is really not traditional Roth IRA material or day trading material because it's not going up too high. It's, it's not doing very well against the S&P. When I invest in stocks, especially when I'm creating my Roth IRA, which I will reveal to you guys by the end of the year, I want, to, I want stocks or ETFs that are doing well against the S&P in line, increasing their dividends, and I want to increase my net asset value. That should be your goal of a traditional Roth IRA is your net asset value. Now this is sitting at 1507. Now, I have pointed out their revenue. Their revenue has increased every year. But what makes these guys even more attractive is their dividend history and their dividend hikes, which I'll reveal to you. Look at their dividend trends. This is 2011, it's four cents. Then 2013, it's five cents. Then 2016, it's seven cents. And then 2018, it's 11 cents. 2019, it hit. 14 cents to 15 cents, and it's right at 15 and a half cents with a dividend yield of 4.31% and a PE ratio of 11.04, an annual dividend of 62 cents. So my goal is to hit 100 shares, and these guys probably do a lot more because I really like those dividend hikes. I like the trends. It's less than $20. That is a deal. This is why I'm buying them. Again, always take it to the bank. They make money. Anytime you swipe a credit card, anytime you uh, people take out loans, they generate money on interest. People are buying cars like crazy. People are taking loans for houses. You're swiping your credit card. They make money. Anytime you swipe your card anywhere, and it has Huntington Bank shares, them and whoever Visa or MasterCard that's with them, um, they get money. So that's a big thing about banks. And everybody's buying credit cards now. You know, these cashback cards are very popular. So let's jump to the next dividend stock. And again, I have emphasized this mortgage-backed real estate investment trust that's sitting at 1798 has a dividend yield of 8.23%, a PE, PE ratio of 8.84, volume 1.97 million, a market cap of 2.70 billion, year range is 1482 to 2074, its day range was 1777 to 1802, and its previous close was 1775. So number one, this is a mortgage-backed real estate investment trust in the past five years that has beaten the S&P. That is traditional and Roth IRA material, the high-yield dividend stock. Now, mortgage-backed real estate investment trust, you have to be very careful because sometimes they don't do too well. Sometimes their dividends aren't very good. Sometimes their revenue sucks. I'll reveal to you their revenue. And this is incredible. Look at this, 2014, 141, 2015, 142. 2016, 213, 2017, 346, 2018, 484, 2019, 535, and 2020, 603.72. This is in millions of US dollars. They're generating a ton of revenue. It's a mortgage-backed real estate investment trust. Now, everybody likes AGNC, 
is that monthly dividend stock, but these guys are running circles around them. And I'm going to reveal to you their dividend history. And again, how can you say no? Look at this, 2015, 13 cents, 2014, that would be 13, 2015, 15 cents, then 16, then you got 18, then you got 19, 21, right here in 2018, 25, 27, it looks like you got a special dividend at 15 cents in 2018, then you got 27, 28, 29, 31, it hit 37 cents in 2022. Look at this, 2013, 13 cents to 37 cents in 2022. That is a significant dividend hike. Now remember, FFO is the most important when it comes to mortgage-backed real estate investment trusts. The annual dividend is $148, and it's less than $20. How do you say no to that? That's why I'm buying them. That's why I absolutely love these guys is the mortgage-backed real estate investment trust. This one is a steal. Jump to the next dividend stock. And here is another attractive dividend stock. This is Franklin Resources. BEN is a symbol. It's sitting at $29.36 has a dividend yield of 3.95%, a PE ratio of 7.75, volume 3.21 million US dollars, the market cap is 14.10 billion US dollars, its year range is 2491 to 3827, day range is 2825 to 2937, its previous close is 2810. Let me show you how they're doing revenue wise. Look at these trends, 2016, 6,618, that's in millions US dollars, 6,392, 6,204, big deal, 5,669, okay, 5,000, let me just scroll this up, 5,666, and then 2021, 8,425, so you got revenue that's increasing, that's what makes these guys very attractive, increasing revenue, it was a little stagnant here, but man, are they making a comeback in 2021, I own shares of these guys. I'm going to buy more. Let me jump to the next dividend stock. Now, here's another one. Warren Buffett owned. He owns this one. Store Capital. This is a real estate investment trust. Sitting at 3042, it has a dividend yield of 5.06%, a PE ratio of 30.69, volume 2.51 million US dollars. The market cap was 8.33 billion. Its year range is 2909 to 3713. Day range was 3031 to 3068, and its previous close was 3032. So what does Warren Buffett like about this, and why does he own it? I'm going to explain to you my rationales, okay? He owns this. He must really like it. But my gosh, that dividend yield is 5.06%. So these guys are basically, okay, um, store capital. I'll go over them with Wikipedia, and I'll show you their revenue and their dividend history. Invest in high-quality properties that are long-term NNN leases. So as of December 31st, 2021, 2,866 properties operated by 556 clients. The wide range of service, and I like this with diversity. Re service, retail, manufacturing industries in the U.S. economy, restaurants, theaters, car wash centers, pet shops, nurseries, and furniture stores. So that's the thing. They are well diversified, okay? Being diversified, owning that many properties, they're doing something right, and I'll show you their revenue. And indeed, they are doing something right. Look at this. This is in millions US dollars. 2014, 190. 2015, 28, or 284. 2016, 376. 2017, 452. 2018, 540. 2019, 6. Let me just scroll this up. 665.714, pandemic hit, 694. So they're still generating revenue, which make them very attractive. What's even more attractive is their dividend history, and this is why I'm trying to get to 100 shares with them. And look, 2015, 25 cents. 2016, 29 cents. 2017, 31 cents. 2018, 33 cents. 2019, 35 cents. 2020, 36 cents. 2021, 38 cents. You're seeing dividend hikes coming like crazy with a dividend yield of 5.01% and annual dividend of 154. That's very attractive. And these guys, I think, again, this is not financial advice for entertainment purposes, only disclaimer in the description, but I think these guys are very undervalued. And this is why people are buying the dip and buying store capital like crazy. Now it's time for the dividend stock that I'm going to be buying this month. I'm very excited to reveal this to you guys. And that stock is Viatris. It's sitting at 1043. This is a pharmaceutical company. 
Previous close was 1015, you know, the little spin-off with Pfizer. Yeah, these guys are the real deal, and I'll show you why I'm buying them. Day range was 1012 to 1054, year range 968 to 1629, market cap is 12.63 billion. Volume is 12.77 billion. The dividend yield is 4.60%. So what makes these guys very attractive? And I'm just going to go over some of their brands that they carry. And these are huge that people need. These products are in demand. Lipitor. So that is a statin. So anytime somebody gets a heart attack, stroke, they're automatically given the statin. Okay. Now, people's, there's a rise in obesity, there's a rise in cardiovascular issues, there's a rise in strokes, and that's a big problem. So we follow core measures, and I'm a, a nurse that works on a cardiac step-down floor, currently in nurse practitioner school, and I cannot tell you how many times they pound in our head every time somebody gets a stroke or a heart attack, they need to be on a statin, they need to be on a beta blocker, they need to be on a few things, and statins decrease your um basically it helps with the ldl hdl area and the more cholesterol you have in the body the higher your chances of getting a stroke so they just give it to you it doesn't matter if you're the healthiest person in the world they just say give it so treat people like they got an mi they get a stroke give that to them so people need statins another one is norvas that is a calcium channel blocker and based on the research norvask or the other name is amlodipine Calcium channel blockers work very well for African Americans for blood pressure compared to ACE inhib inhibitors or angiotensin receptor blockers like um, Lisinopril or Lazartan. Norvask has shown in studies and also calcium channel blockers in studies that it helps African Americans with blood pressure. So uh, if you have friends or family or you are African American and your prescriber gives you Norvask, that's one of the reasons why this is a very big product. Nitrostat, nitroglycerin sublingual, again, that's pretty, that's a given. I mean, if you have a heart attack or symptoms of a heart attack or previously have had a heart attack, they give you nitro sublingual. You put it under your tongue. It is a vasodilator. So you might get a headache because it's a vasodilator and you're getting the dilating effect. Right here, um, Dilantin, phenytoin. So people take Dilantin for seizures. So that's a big product for seizures. But these two right here, Lyrica and Gabapentin, these are pain meds, okay? Now, prescribers are a little hesitant on giving um, pain meds to people, but the problem is there's a huge rise in diabetes. When people get diabetic neuropathy and pain, they're prescribed with Lyrica or Gabapentin. Now, I myself, I don't know if I can ever handle that because um, it causes effects of drowsiness. So that's why they say don't consume alcohol with it. And I don't need it, but people use that as pain management as well. Gabapentin is also used as a sleep aid. Some people, you know, one thing with seizures and gabapentin, not used as much anymore, but that's another thing. Now, these two right here, these three, Zoloft, Effexor, and Xanax, it is unfortunate that they're, and I can even add Geodon, it is unfortunate that mental health is getting bigger. And there's people that take Xanax as a sleep aid, so that's another thing that people use. Zoloft, and Effexor, Xanax, and Geodon, these are medications to calm people's nerves down. These are um, helps with people's mood um this is i don't want to get in too much detail but this is in demand these four medications viagra i don't have to say anything i hope i hope you don't need it being a guy um freon that's another one so if you have issues with uh, digestive enzymes okay pancreas isn't producing things you're not doing too well freon People take with meals so that you get those artificial digestive enzymes to break down stuff otherwise you're gonna kind of have an oil leak and it'll go right through you sometimes if you don't absorb things very well so you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on any of these 
Um, I better know this because I did well in pharmacology, nurse practitioner school, and I'm taking classes, and I need to know these medications. So I just want to be a little basic with that, and I'll go over the revenue with uh, Viatris. So I'm just going to show you the revenue a little bit from 2014, 2015 on. This is in millions US dollars, 7,000, 9,000, 11,000. And I, again, I'm not giving financial advice I'm or medical advice, but there is a trend with all these mental health trend in dementia. People can get dementia related to diabetes because it breaks down vessels and stuff. You know, if you're like a candy store. It's not good. Heart attacks. Heart attacks are up there. And that's one issue as well, is statins, cholesterol. Um, some of the other things, well, Vi Viagra is, uh, I'm not going to go into that. But um, you already know what Viagra is pretty much. So that's the importance of v VTRS stock or Beatrice why I'm buying it I, I need to get to 100 shares and it's so cheap it's so cheap and that's that's why I really am going, going to be buying these type of stocks and I like the dividend hikes I like the trends which I'll reveal to you real quick now this is a new kid on the block kind of with dividends but you're getting 11 cents to 12 cents and it's a high yield dividend stock at 4.73 percent so let me know what you think of this video. If you guys are new to this channel, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss future videos. This is Dark Dividend. You guys have a good one. I will post a video tomorrow.